welcome uh, so today we will discuss the topic dhcp so before we proceed further uh, we will just uh, know what is the full form of dhcp dhcp as it stands for is dynamic host configuration protocol so what it does is if there is a dhcp configured router it will provide the ip addresses to all its hosts uh, i mean all its uh, clients uh, um, ips mm, automatically so we just don't have to go ahead and configure each and every client separately it will just um, you know it will give the md ip ip addresses that are available to those clients So let's see what we will cover today. We'll see what is DHCP. We'll configure DHCP in a Cisco router, and we will be using Cisco Packet Tracer for that. Uh, we'll check the advantages of DHCP, and also we'll get to know some disadvantages of DHCP. Okay, so what is DHCP? DHCP, as I said, is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a client or server protocol that automatically provides an IP host with its IP address and other related configurations such as the subnet mask and the default gateway. Yeah. So, as I was telling that, uh, it provides the IP address to the clients. Okay. So, it also provides the subnet mask and the default gateway to that machine or the system so that it can um, it can communicate with other um, hosts or other clients or other um, devices that are connected to that network or might maybe in a different network so that is the reason a default gateway is also required okay. so next is dhcp client is the device that are ip address from the router client is the device that is getting the ip address from the router a router is the host it's a DHCP server. Okay, now let uh, we will see how to configure DHCP in a Cisco router. So we will be using this configuration. We will just set up this in Cisco Packet Tracer. So let's move on to Cisco Packet Tracer and start the configuration. So first we will bring a router. We will bring two switches. We will be bringing in two systems down here. Two systems down here. And now let's connect all these devices connect this one to this one this one to this one and let's connect the systems the computers to the switches uh, to the switch you can use any of the ports we are just using CD. Okay, so it's done now let's configure we don't need have to configure the switches because it will be automatically configured uh, you will see these lights uh, glowing up in a minute we need to configure the router we will type no because we want to configure it manually so we will type in first enable next we will type in configure terminal once we are in the configure terminal interface we will type in interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 this is this is this port this is the first ethernet 0 by 0 port so let's get into this interface next we will be assigning an IP address to this port IP address let's give it 192.168.1.1 and give a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 
so we have assigned the IP address to this interface now let's uh, okay, now let's do this pull this up pull this port up no shut down so it's up next we will go into go back to the configuration terminal interface next we will be checking interface fast ethernet this port is 1 by 0 1 by 0 we are into this interface now let's give the IP address to this interface it will be IP address let's put this interface as 192.168.10.1 and let the subnet mask be 255.255.255.0 now so pull up this port of this interface that is no shut down so it's up so now it's the, all the ports are running but it will not communicate with each other because we haven't given any IP address to these two systems or another these two these four systems does not have any IP address we can go ahead and put them uh, you know let me show you we can just we can go ahead and put IP address here manually but we will not be doing that we will be doing it automatically dynamically so that's DHCP okay so let's exit from this now IP DHCP pool uh, we can give it any name I will give it I will give it one Now we press enter. Okay, so now we have entered into DHCP. Now, now, now let's give uh, let's give the range. So it will be for the network. Network 192 168 1.0 subnet mask 255.255.255.0. The default gateway would be. 192.168.1.1 for this network the default gateway would be 1.1 okay so DHCP for this interface is done now let's, the DHC, let's do the DHCP for this interface we will exit from this next the command will be same IP DHCP pull now let's give this name 10 uh, it would be again network now for this one would be 192 10.0 because it's a network 255 255 255.0 and for this net default gateway would be 192 10.1 so DHCP for both the both the interfaces are now done let's now save this now just save this now it's done now let's see now let's check fingers crossed requesting IP address it's successful let's do for this one requesting IP address it's again it's done Let's check for this one. It's done. Let's check for this one. It's done. Great. Okay, now we will, we will be checking another thing. Uh, let's see, we can ping from PC0 to PC3. Let's see if we can ping. Ping. 192.168.10.3 uh, 10.3 is the IP address of uh, this computer it's 10.3 first we will not get the reply uh, from the next time we will be getting the reply the first one is the ARP message that it goes for the recognition 
and the next time it would be replying in the first one. Okay, so we have seen how to configure the network, the DHCP server. Now, so what we have done is we have configured this one as DH. C P server this router and this systems this system got their IP address the subnet mask their default gateway automatically from this router so this router knows uh, whom to share okay and what to share it will give the empty IP addresses that are available with him it will give those addresses to this like uh, we have configured uh, this part of the network uh, like we have configured uh, this part of the network as 10.0 network this part is 10.0 and this part is 1.0 so this router is intelligent enough because we have configured for this part it is 10.0 it will give 10.2 and 10.3 to this uh, this PCs and 1.2 and 1.3 to this PC it will not mix up okay so we have seen how to configure uh, DHCP now let's check the advantages of using a DHCP first is it is reliable IP address configuration why is it reliable because uh, we can uh, we can trust it because it will not give uh, uh, random or it will not give a wrong IP address if suppose if we manually put in uh, suppose the network is uh, 192.168.1.0 .1 network okay. we might not know uh, we might because it might be a huge um, network we are working on there are many networks so we might not know uh, like it's whether it's a 192.168.1.0 uh, .1 network or it's a 192.168.100.0 network but if you use DHCP, it will automatically give that network's IP address once it is connected to that port. So we don't have to uh, worry uh, that it would not give um, it would not give a, a reliable uh, or a correct IP address. So it can be reliable. It is reliable. Next is it reduce network administration. Like suppose we have um, hundreds hundred computers connected in office there are suppose 20 networks there are 100 computers we just don't have to go in each and every uh, system just uh, pull up that uh, configuration box and just put in IP it, it's it's a very hectic job uh, for a network administrator if it's a DHCP just they click on the DHCP and it, the IP address and all the things would be taken automatically so it's easier okay next is uh, large network support like if there is we don't care how many uh, systems are connected uh, there may be any number of n number of uh, networks connected we does not um, have to bother about that because you know i uh, just have to click on the dhcp and it would get fetch all the information required information automatically okay the next is uh, let's check out some of the disadvantages i don't think there is any but let's check uh, there might be security issues yeah there might be security issues because suppose um, um, there is some stranger coming in uh, to your office and he plugs in the cable he connects to the network um, and you know if it's a DHCP uh, he clicks on the DHCP um, get DHCP um, so uh, IP and so uh, it would be getting uh, IP and it can just communicate with all the other systems in that network and so it might it's very dangerous uh, server failure suppose the DHCP server the router that's configured uh, it goes down it goes wrong you know what happens all the net all the systems all the system will down will be down because they will not be getting an IP they will not be getting the DHCP IP from that router so again you have to go and so it's it's, it's a big it's a major issue I know some additional configuration I don't think that's a disadvantage because uh, you don't have to go in each and every system. But yes, if uh, uh, we have to type some commands in the in the router. 
ओके थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग